army of ruin. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words. Wreak havoc on countless foes with mighty weapons and deadly spells. Enhance your skills and face even greater dangers. Army of Ruin is an auto-shooter where you become the bullet hell. Hi guys, this is Army of Ruin. It is pretty much a heavily inspired Vampire Survivors. And if you don't know what Vampire Survivors is, where the hell are you will tomorrow on Game of the Year? That's for a, that's for a. And this is kind of like a polished version of that. Uh, where Vampire Survivors is pixelated bilge as far as graphics is concerned. This is shiny and squeaky and ooh, give me some polish. This is nice looking. This actually looks nice. It's a very, very similar game. It's just not as good. But Vampire Survivors is fully released. It's fully fleshed out, fully developed. This is new. It's early access. It's only been out since the end of October. So, you know, we'll see where this one goes. But I've been playing it now for about a lot of hours and i can't stop playing it's highly addictive it's great fun and if you don't know how these games work let me let me you start off with just one or two characters and no evolved spells nothing just a blank checkbook so to speak of abilities spells upgrades the lot and you'll probably only have one map unlocked so you'll go into that one map and then every minute more and more monsters just make a beeline for your face it just keeps ramping up. It's relentless. There's bosses keep appearing. More and more enemies keep appearing. And you have your little tiny pea shooter that just fires wherever the f*** it wants to, depending on what the weapon is. And you just have to avoid hitting things. Every second enemy that dies, I think it's every second enemy, drops a little blue crystal. When you move over that, you get XP. When you level up, you will then be given a random choice of things that you have available uh, in your arsenal and that won't be much at the beginning of the game you'll just have all the base bullshit now the things that you can pick in this are trinkets and weapons weapons obviously start attacking for you loads of different types of attacks aoe's precision shots all kinds of stuff the trinkets enhance the weapons and will eventually allow them to evolve into a super weapon so it's a case of deciding what you want to go for making sure you have the right trinkets for that and hoping that the damn thing drops. Now you can sort of mitigate the shite that you get by having um, re-rolls. Now you earn these through playing the game. You earn everything through playing the game. You earn new trinkets, new characters and new weapons by playing the game. It's a roguelike game. After every run, you get to keep everything that you've unlocked forever. And you also get gold as you're going through the game as well. Now, the goal is to unlock permanent upgrades to your characters, such as rate of fire, damage, health regen, hit points, stuff like that. And that's how the game works. As you go through, you'll unlock more characters, more maps, and you can make the maps harder to get better rewards. And you'll see a big table of unlocks, and you'll have to do certain things to unlock certain uh, characters and weapons. For example, you might have to take a certain character onto a certain map on a certain difficulty and kill a certain amount of bosses and things like that. And it, it's just great fun because it gets absolutely brutally hard. And then as you get more and more stuff dropping for you, you can be kind of just surviving by the skin of your teeth. And then as you get the drops that you want, as your build starts to come to perfection, you become so powerful, it's so damn satisfying. You can pretty much AFK at that point. It's just nuts, the kind of builds that you can get in that. And I haven't seen them all, so I'm still kind of excited to play this because I'm dying to see what new weapons do, how they evolve. It's just great fun doing it. Like I said before, it isn't a Vampire Survivors. It's, it's kind of a copy, but it's just Vampire Survivors is still... In a, it's like a, a league of its own vampire survivors. It's way more fleshed out than this, and it's way better. But this is still a great game. It's in early access. I can't wait to see how it evolves next year. It could become the best of its class. We'll have to wait and see. But if you like vampire survivors, and the, there's a load of clones of that out now, this is the best one that I've played. It's definitely worth a buy. Oh, and did I tell you, it's £2.96, guys. It's a, it's a steal.